the Richmond Police Department is looking to the future as new acting police chief Richard Edwards steps into his role. 8 News reporter Rachel Keller joining us live in studio with the latest on the next steps for the department. Seems like somewhat of a roller coaster ride, Rachel. Yeah, that is absolutely right, Eric and Heather. The Richmond Police Department is in a period of transition. Brendan Levy, the president of the Richmond Coalition of Police, tells me officers feel like they're taking a step in the right direction. With former Richmond Police Chief Gerald Smith out, Acting Chief Richard Edwards steps in. My goal is to, to stabilize things and, and be there for the officers and for our community and make sure that, that we're, you know, that we're progressing uh, while we're conducting a national search for our next chief of police. The city's chief administrative officer, Lincoln Saunders, says Mayor LeVar Stoney was in favor of his recommendation to name Edwards as acting chief. In a statement, Saunders writes, I am looking forward to his solution-based leadership and team-building style, which will be key to advancing the department. President of the Richmond Coalition of Police, Brendan Levy, calls it a bright future after he says members did not have the best relationship with former Chief Smith. The coalition called for Smith's resignation in December. We're looking for the next chief to restore faith and trust within the police department and take us forward in the right direction. Levy says Edwards is expected to make quick changes. Rising crime and staffing is top of mind. Leadership, in our opinion here, will address retention of the experienced officers that we still have on staff, the recruitment of new officers. And the department is recruiting aggressively as they're short 150 officers. The Richmond Coalition of Police says they're encouraged by the changes and will be meeting with Acting Chief Edwards next week. They're looking forward to providing input on who will take the permanent role. Edwards tells us he hasn't had time to consider that just yet. In studio, Rachel Keller, 8 News.